Hey, 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 this is Fortnite 60 here. I'm doing another Overwatch video. Um, sorry. Alright, so this is the anniversary event right now, so I got this little cool background going on now. Um, Alright, let's see here. So I'm going to be going over a win on Route 66 yesterday. It was me and my brother doing our Lucio Ryan duo. So we started off on offense. And the defense round ends like really quick. It ends within the first part of the map. Hmm. It's so weird how the road just ends into a cave. <laughs> like, you know, like who designs a road that goes through <laughs> into a cave? <laughs> and then, where does the road start? It starts, oh, uh, okay, if, we're, like, if, like, if this is a tunnel, all right, I get it, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so let's check it out. <laughs> So we kind of have a little bit of a rough start here. Um, our Zarya goes down like freaking nothing. And then Sombra I think hacks me and... Yeah, so right there, just uh, stay out of the lava. You're out in the open behind the payload. Um, so I try to kind of try to stick close to the walls right here. You have uh, no escape options for like a good couple for like a good second or two. Um, <coughs> careful with those kind of positionings. Uh, I see what you mean by like whenever you look for a wall, you're kind of just like guessing and jumping back. <clears throat> and then shortly afterwards, I come in and pop Zarya off the map with myself. Funny man. Can we see where their bodies go? Oh shoot, this is this is creepy. <clears throat> There's me down here in this abyss. I feel like I'm gonna get run over and it's <laughs> so funny. Can I go past this? Whoa. This is weird, man. <laughs> Whoa. That looks pretty cool. I'm sure I'd... Oh yeah, look, there's Zarya's body. Oh, I know, it's just... Rubble, I guess. Or is that her body? What is this? Oh, it is me! Oh, it's so funny! I'm surprised it hasn't despawned already. Usually, um... <coughs> what are these then? <clears throat> That's Zarya. Oh, it's my hammer. Oh, that's so interesting. Her weapon. That's so cool. Um, usually what they would do, they would make kind of like... A zone. <coughs> a certain altitude when stuff like... When acids start to despawn, uh, I'm surprised they make it that low. Like once it's like below, you know, the mountain, they could despawn it already. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, <laughs> I 
Careful about the bastion. No. Oh. Bit sloppy. <laughs> Okay, so you do want to be careful with Bastion's ult, that's good. Um, now we're getting altitude at choke points. This other thing is just not working with me, man. I right, hear the Moira alt, and that's my kind of sign to go in. Okay, you haven't. I don't know our drunker could sign right there. It's an interesting position. That's a pretty good spot, man. Ew, look at his leg. Oh, is he emoting right now? Oh no, that's just the way he's standing. That's weird. That's gross, Junkrat. That's disgusting. Look at the way his foot is bending. Oh god. Jesus, you're a sick man, dude. <coughs> That's a good position, though. <laughs> oh, especially for an alt. Wow, how do you mess that shit up? <coughs> he should have got a triple out of that, or at least a double. What an idiot. That was nice. I mean, that was extra, but <laughs> if it was a good Moira, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that would have been really helpful. Uh, but she kind of seems to chicken out, so that's no, okay. That's that's okay. Weird here, I've been backing up quite a bit. <coughs> I 
I think it's because you saw, I don't know if you saw that like auto jump thingy on. I'm actually mad we weren't able to get the- oh wait, we do get this, never mind. Mm, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good all. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I just get frozen and then you could have vaulted right there. As soon as you see me. Yeah, honestly, as soon as you see me, as soon as, you, as soon as you see that red pop up on one of your tanks, and it's like already like a team engagement, you could you could do it like just like without thinking. Um, that's one of like the trigger flags. Like, hey, I need to, I need to fucking bust it. So. It's all kind of started right here. Mercy revives. I think you see it at the corner of your eye and you go in for it. Uh, you miss it. And then you keep going in. You go towards the Ryan, which is a really bad idea. And I think you start to realize that midway. Um... Also, right now, you're a little lava-y. You wouldn't normally be lava in lava right there. Like, you have this pillar to jump to, but you don't head in that direction. You head backwards. Um... So, yeah, it's just a, it's just a kind of bad judgment decision right here, where you you you're thinking you don't shift mindsets fast enough. Um, you know, Mercy's you see that Ry that Ryan already his outline. You you don't go in anymore. You you know you get to a better position. Um, uh, Mercy's also alting, so we so this isn't like a free a freebie right now. Um. Where you could be so like lenient in your, I guess your mindset. Yeah, it's just that little error I think he had for going into Ryan, which 
later offsetted your your reaction time to ult. I think we get it anyway though, if I remember correctly. Oh no, not right now. Like how idle you kind of are back here. I think she was shooting for me and just missed. <laughs> oh, maybe not. That was a waste of ult on her part, but like I didn't I don't like your positioning right now. Um So this is kinda what I mean what I've been trying to talk about, how you're not I feel like when you play Lucio your your mindset is to either get value in two ways. That's one, you know, diving and dueling, um, or two, just hide behind the tank. That seems to be kind of your two mindsets uh, with Lucio. And with such good mobility, that shouldn't be your mindset. You need to have a more granular uh, thought process for for how you play them, your positioning, your you know, the way you use your abilities. Um, it shouldn't be such a, like a binary, um, decision that you're making right here. Like, you kind of back up, you kind of, you kind of go side to side. Uh, you, you just stay in this position for, for a bit here. Um, like, we're, we kind of have the advantage against Azaria for a second. Um, you could go a bit aggro on her. Uh, get elevation, you know, mess up her aim. Uh, you know something you, you're not you're not really doing anything right now um, Especially with myself at full health um. <laughs> So yeah You kind of been doing this the whole game, but this is the most pronounced um, Setup that I could kind of show you what, what what's happening with your gameplay here Granted, I was doing pretty good today, <laughs> so like, it's, you know, sometimes acceptable to um, get this kind of passive gameplay. Um, or kind of pocket gameplay is, is more, I guess, what it is. <clears throat> but again, you can get your value around me, not just by being on me. You know, get a few. See, you see what I mean? You you go in and duel. Uh, let me let me go rewind that. Okay, I dive. And that's up. Okay, so you're still in this dive mentality right now. Um, so that was good that you came to help me out. I like that. 
but and then you stay here for a bit, and maybe it's just because you get stuck. I don't know. Um. Hmm. No, I mean you back up. But I don't know. Maybe it's just your speed that I'm kind of picky about here. Um. This diva man gets like so little value out of herself. It's so annoying. Ah, I kind of we should have had this guy. Oh, now Diva fucking dives in. Ah. Whatever. Um, uh, never mind. I guess I don't, you you were backing up. It's just you're really slow about it. You don't wall ride at all. If you don't feel comfortable like wall riding backwards, you know, like I guess turn around. You know, like if you need to. Um, I mean, you definitely lose a lot of value. <clears throat> Not a lot. You you definitely lose some value by doing that, but you know if it gets you more familiar with the map, then you know I guess that's all right. Um. Mm, you back up a lot, and then you decide to go forward. You go really deep forward. Really, really deep forward. Push off. Let's get you healed up. Hey, you go pretty aggro right here. Pretty surprised. Hmm. So Diva and Junkrat Buster all for you guys to get this. I'm surprised how aggro you go right there. I don't usually see you play like that. When you're with me. Because oh. they're only down Ryan. We're both down a tank and that's about it. That's the only advantage we have. I mean, it's not even an advantage. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. You jump backward. I was wondering, like, did that actually knock you back? But no, you jump backward yourself. For whatever reason. Like right now, it's pretty much you three versus them three. I mean, you got your DPS back here. Oh, you got your Moira and your Junk right up here, but they're going in and out. You do that one good play where you kind of like pressure the mate quite a bit. And then you... I mean, there's not, I guess, a lot to do here. <laughs> good.
I think I think they were actually short of player for a while already. Yeah, the last match isn't too important just because um, it's just them. Mm, it's just them getting wrecked with one less player. Yeah, they have one less player, man. Don't you don't gotta be too too uh preserved. That kind of goes for all combat, you know. Like whenever they're they're short a person, we gotta take advantage and get more, get something out of it. Get either a pick or some positioning advantage or, you know, alt charge. We want re we want to gain resources when they're down on people. Killing time. <laughs> In these situations, I want you to practice um, building ult charge as fast as you can. And you could do it however you want. You could do it by heals. You could do it by by damage. You know, whatever you think gives you the most ult charge. Um, The only other interesting part is at the end when they start trying. Nice. See how you see? Oh my gosh! Yes, that's exactly what I want to see, man. Um, see how you're up against the wall right now, and you're able to get away. That's exactly what I want to see, like all the time. <laughs> I mean, not all the time. You know, sometimes you gotta go through lava, but uh, that's that's not walking on lava. <laughs> So there's one there's one small caveat about that that I should mention now. As you go up the ranks, people 
get better at hitting you, right? Um, so you have to incorporate... It's, it's really tricky, right? Like, it's not to say nowhere is safe when you're an upper level gameplay, but I don't know how to explain it. You, it, it, I think it, part of it falls on ability counting when you, when you get to upper level gameplay, even though, oh man, that's beautiful. That's exactly what I want. Um. Okay, so in lower ranks, if you're just like wall riding everywhere and like keeping mobility up, there's very few people who are like gonna be consistently killing you. Uh, any gold and below, like people will have a really hard time uh, killing you. Um, yeah, once you start hitting mid to late plat, um, you have to start pairing that skill with ability counting. Otherwise, it's not gonna be. It's 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 not going to be as effective as as your mo as, as, as for evading as it is in the lower ranks. So when you start hitting those tiers, you're going to start feeling like, hey, my mobility isn't saving me. Um, am I being too aggro or something? And no, it's people are just getting a better being better shots, and you have to respect you have to respect them more. That means you have to keep track of their their kind of their abilities. You got to like pay attention to like the flow of the battle. Um, you just kind of you just have to pay attention to resources a lot more in the upper ranks, um, and that and that's kind of uh, that dictates your uh, that, that dictates everything you know your gameplay your aggressiveness your positioning, um, so yeah just uh, keep that in mind, um, and applying those concepts early on definitely helps out so much. Um, oh, you saved me. Or are you trying to save me? Um, applying those con those ability counts counting concepts early on helps out so much. It's like it's easier to climb, of course, but um, and they'll make your gameplay more consistent. But early on, it's just more like um, playing your character the way they should be played. You know, um, that's why Lucio should be, you know. Keeping up his mobility, you know, staying around his team, yada yada. Um, I think that's kind of what I'm trying to emphasize early on in your strong Lucio mechanics. Um, playing your character how he should be played. It's kind of like a role playing game, you know? And then, along with practice, you start getting a feel of, you know, um, resources, the flow of battle, positioning, you know, you start learning, you start developing those upper tier skills the more you play. Um, just a feel for how much resources are, are on the on the board for each side of the, of the, each team. See, I'm, I'm pretty, hog, hog hooks are really important to count and real, and tr I feel like they're really easy. Um, Tank abilities are like just the most obvious thing to like keep track of. Um, so yeah. Right now it's killing time. All oh, the snot, all oh, the snot. Notice how I'll go for the squishies, the tanks. Sure, they're nice to take out, but I get you know I go for where I get most value. Um, that's kind of how all heroes should be played, especially early on, like I'm saying, you should play your hero how they like to be played. Um, you know, like Arisa likes to go for tanks, uh, Genji likes to go for tanks, um, you know, Sigma likes to go for squishies. You gotta, you gotta kind of play their hero how they're, you know, um, what works best for them. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. GG man, GG. Yeah, hey, I was doing pretty good that day or yesterday. But, but, but um, but yeah, those are like the two, the two thing, two kind of takeaways. Um, don't play so, so binary in your thought process. You know, 
try to get value around your tank and then um that <clears throat> trying to get value around your tank and what was the other thing oh i guess it's kind of three things um uh, well no it's only two things uh i play lucio how you know well the way lucio is good at playing in other words um that goes for any hero pretty much but for Lucian in particular, you know, it's mobility and, yeah, like, et cetera, et cetera, what I said earlier. Um, so, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll call it there. Hope you enjoyed.